Okay, everybody, so the day has finally come. We now have the release date for the Destroy All Humans remake. Now, if you don't really feel like watching this entire video, I'll just say it now. The release date is July 28th, 2020. And if you pre-order it digitally, I'm not sure about Amazon, but I know that on the Microsoft Store, if you pre-order it, you can actually play it two days early. I don't know about other places yet, but uh, hopefully it applies to them as well. First, we can see the reporter from the opening cutscene. He does have the cartoony art style that we've gotten to expect from this remake, and uh, I don't really care. As long as the game is fun, then that's all that really matters to me. Crypto landing the saucer. It does seem to be a more smooth transition than it was in the playtest, which I can't show you footage of that for NDA reasons. But there have been some people that broke the NDA, and you may have seen those videos already. Crypto hollow bobbing an NPC in Santa Modesta. Some more shots of Santa Modesta. And someone gets shot by the disintegrator ray. And we could see our first glimpse of people being disintegrated in game. Crypto fighting robots. The abducto beam in action. It resembles the abducto beam in earlier builds of the original game, where it appeared sort of like a tornado underneath the saucer. And another thing about the abducto beam that I learned from the play test. While I wasn't able to use the abducto beam itself during the test, I did look at the controls for the game and it did say that you can throw objects with the abducto beam like PK. I actually thought about this last year when the announcement came out. I'll show a little clip of that. I hope that becomes a gameplay feature, dropping cows on people. I mean, you could kind of do that already in the game, but wouldn't it be cool to have a weapon that just makes cows fall from the sky? Or No, here's the idea. You abduct people, and then you could actually beam them back down at high speeds, crushing the ground and killing the person. Good idea. Saucer destroying the fair. Diner explosion. Hollow bobbing through different environments. Union Town. And Crypto uses his PK ability on a tank. A look at the airfield in Area 42. Very nice. And here we get our first glimpse at Capital City. You can see the Lincoln Memorial in the distance, but it's likely going to be a parody of Lincoln in the game. Also, an iron detonator goes off. Anal probe in action. Here we get our first glimpse at a skin. I'll go more in depth about it later. Here's another Capital City pick. This is actually during the final mission. And the release date, July 28th, as I've said earlier. Now onto the skins. I don't know if these are all the skins, but uh, these are just some that I was able to get pictures of. First up, Crypto has a red suit, and his skin is a bit red as well. The jetpack design is also a bit different, and I feel like this is a reference to something, but honestly, I don't know what it's a reference to. Elvis skin. Everybody knows Elvis. And since the game is in the 50s, it really fits the time. The jetpack is now microphones. I wonder if Crypto will finally have different sounding jetpacks with this like he wanted in Path of the Furon. Does it make far out sounds like in the cartoons on TV? A clown skin. Pretty terrifying. With this skin, if someone calls him green, he has no right to be mad about it. Now on to some other new picks. going to leave you with a pic that was posted to the official Destroy Humans accounts for National Alien Day, and as always, thanks for watching.